Hi students, welcome back to one another part of our new series, which is how formulas were derived. And in this part, we will see that how volume of a cone is one over three times pi r square h. So if you haven't watched our previous video, then I would recommend you to first watch the previous video in which we have discussed that how volume of a cylinder is pi r square h because this formula is going to be used in our present video. So as you can see, volume of a cone is just one third of what was the volume of the cylinder. See, this is the volume of cylinder, which is pi r square h. And in volume of cone, just one over three is multiplied by the volume of cylinder. So if I talk about its proof, then its proof is the easiest proof. You can literally do it at your home. All you need to do is you just need to have or create a, a cylindrical object and a conical object and it should be hollow so you can take um, you can take a paper and you can actually uh, create a cylindrical and conical object but make sure that you're making the radius and height of the cylindrical object and conical object same so you can do this at your home uh, and i will need your help uh, to prove this to prove this formula just take a sheet of paper and try to make a cylinder and a cone just make sure that their radius and heights are same then what you can do is you can uh, what you can do is you can fill this cone with some liquid or with some mixture you can take uh, some mixture of maybe let's say cumin seeds you can take and then you can pour that liquid or cumin seeds, whatever you have taken, you can pour all the content in the cylindrical object. You will then find out that it will be filled till this point. Then again, fill the cone with water, with liquid or whatever you want. And then again, pour down all the content in the cylinder then it will be filled up to this point. Then again, uh, fill up the cone and then again, pour down all the content to the cylinder. Then when you will do this activity for the third time, then you will realize that the cylindrical object will be filled to its brim. So this means what? This just means that volume of cylinder is three times is three times the volume of cone because cylinder uh, we were able to fill the cylinder with the material of cone three times. We had to do this activity three times. So that means uh, the cylinder can carry the content. Cylinder can yeah. carry three times the content that the cone can carry. So this means, this also means that volume of cone is nothing but just one third of volume of cylinder. And from the previous video, we know that volume of a cylinder is pi r square h. So that is why the volume of cone is nothing but one third of pi r square h cubic units. So yes, this has the easiest proof for volume of cone and I hope you understood this. This is a very interesting activity. You can literally do it at your home and I hope you understood this video. So we'll meet next time in the next video. Till then, bye-bye, take care.